Why did you dump me on social media? He has got such an amazing sense of humour, and that's definitely what won me over. Great personality and so funny. So we sort of got on like a house on fire. So we've got three kids now, we're getting a dog. What we're, dog? We're getting a bulldog. <sighs> and it's called Rocco. Yeah, because he would like, Rocco. Rocco, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do a bulldog, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Love Island with Sam as a couple just meant that everyone's eyes were on us. Sam's demeanour towards me was just slightly different to when we was on camera. He just sort of made me feel insignificant. Was he faking it the whole time for the press? <laughs> you right, Sam? It's been a long time. How are I you? Know, it's been a while. Are you okay? Yeah. Good to see you. Mwah. Mwah. It's been a you while. Been two kisses. No, no, not really, not really one. How long's it been? Um, I don't think I've seen you since the gala when yeah, you introduced good. yourself to me. <laughs> after we slept together like ten times, but so, yeah, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> don't bring that back up, man. I can't believe it when I've done that. Do you know when I, I walked off? Happened. I looked at my manager. I went, "Why are never just done that?" I don't know. So I feel nervous. You should be. Did we lose our heads after Love Island? <laughs> we did, didn't we? It got out of control. It got mad. I think Sam definitely lost his head more after Love Island. But boys just get more PAs than girls. We get more of the Instagram posts. Thank oh, you. God, right Great on timing. Great you. timing. Okay. Be ready. Why did you dump me on social media? <laughs> um, that was wrong. I'm gonna start by saying that was wrong. I can't describe the morning when I woke up. I checked my phone and I seen all the messages, all the newspaper articles. Do you know that feeling you get where your heart literally goes in your stomach? And I seen George's tweet and I think it said something on the lines of, me and Sam are not together anymore because for one man, one girl is not always enough. Um, I think at the time, I just felt really mugged off because obviously I'm thinking, I knew it was coming to an end, we both did, but we were sort of being respectful towards each other. Yeah. I'm in the hairdressers getting a blowy D and I get a call saying that you've been with another girl of a different reality show. You're grabbing her, calling her sexy, like all over social media, doing all of this. You know you did, you deleted them ones the next morning, but I still saw them. Yeah. And I just thought, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna send this tweet. At the time I was fuming. I would never like try and publicly embarrass somebody. But you like, did. That's why I done it. You publicly embarrassed me with that girl. Well, could, did you not think at the time, though, instead of being hurt and expressing it to the world, you could have been hurt and rang me and said, Sam, what are you doing? Apart from I did, about three days before that, I never heard back. So unfortunately, I had to go to Twitter. You know how, like, that made me feel at the time, like, when I woke up on that morning, like, everybody had, like, an opinion where I'd never experienced that before. There was like, you got 100,000 retweets, about 85,000 likes, and then the messages I was getting, the tweets I was getting, and I was thinking, shit. It like, it hurts to see that, do you know what I mean? Because how close we were, I don't know, it was weird. It was hurtful at the time. It gave me anxiety, but it was trending across the UK. It was top trend on Twitter in the world. Yeah, it was above the royal family. Yeah. And Kate had just bought her wedding dress. It's when we knew we made it. I am sorry. I can't not forgive you, can I? Do you know what I mean? I can hand on heart say I didn't once cheat you or anything like that. There were certain like red flags that made me think maybe you Which hurt. is fair enough. Well, I don't. I do admit I didn't probably act in the way that I would do now I mean, if I was in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was young, just off telly, a bit like a headless chicken. <laughs> headless chicken. Sorry. <laughs> well, about... I never cheated on you. I didn't have sex for a year after we broke up. It was really sad. Did you not? I mean, it wasn't because of you. It was just like. Have you, I just, I like have you made up for lost time now then, or? Not really, no. You know? <laughs> not enough. No, no, not really. No. 
What does the future hold? We're going to sort of continue the friendship of where we've sort of left off today. Do you know what, honestly, I'm really, really grateful that you came today because I feel like we've covered a lot of things in the past that I personally feel a lot better about. And we've been through a lot together. No, 100%. Like, if you argue with somebody, leave it two years, yeah. you see them, and it's brilliant when you see them again. Yeah, then it's fine. You're welcome. And thanks for coming down. No, coming up. I was in the area anyway. Meal was amazing. It's been so nice to see you. You too. Right. Look after yourself. Thank you. I'll see you soon again, yeah?